Okay guys, so this is my first tut DX6i tutorial video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a new model for your DX6i and name it. So this is basically if you first got your DX6i, you want to get your plane in the air, this is what you have to do. So power on. And here is my model, the Trainer 1. This is my first model. So to make a new model, you're going to press this to enter the menus to set up. So you're going to press the wheel once and that will get you into the adjust list. Now you scroll it once to go to model select the first option and click it in again once more and then now we're gonna go I have my first model occupied I think the seventh model is the one I have open so we'll use the seventh model you can just use your model one so we'll click again once on the wheel to select it it will download it and it'll give beeps to confirm and then now we're back if you go to the main you can see up in the top here it says model 7 MDL 7 um, it's automatically set to be a airplane model acro so if you're gonna be flying a heli what you're gonna go here you're gonna go to our setup list all the way at the bottom of the adjust list the adjust list is the one to first get to and you're gonna go down to model type and you can pick there's acro or heli if you're a heli person just click on heli and then that will save it as a heli and then we'll go back to the list and then we'll give the model a name so we'll say we'll scroll down to where it selects the space under model 7 we'll select that and the first digit we'll select it again and then there's a little arrow underneath it showing that it's the one that's being changed now so just scroll through your letters um, we'll set this as an MCX2 so um, C X and we can leave a space and put in our two here and then we'll just select OK to save it and then go back to the list and press enter and then basically that's all you have to do to get your first model set up now if you find that your controls are reversed say right aileron will roll you left and vice versa or elevator will go like this and that like if it's all wrong if that's what that does then what you have to do is you have to go into the reverse menu so we'll go back up here to the main menu and then we'll press once to get back into the adjust menu and we'll scroll down to the setup list sorry you could have stayed in the menu before and then we'll scroll down to reverse here you see it says reverse on the screen and we'll select reverse and then you can scroll throughout all the different options say it's our aileron that's reversed we just select aileron and scroll till it says R, that's reverse, N is for normal, and now the aileron channel will be reversed, and we have proper control now of our helicopter. So we'll go back to the list menu, and then um, you can change swash types, and that's more advanced stuff. Um, I won't get into that in this video. Now if you do feel like setting a dual rate, what you can do is um, enable first enable the dual rate switch or sorry we'll go back we want to go to the um, adjust list and then we're going to go to dual rate and expo here in the adjust list and we'll select say ailerons and then that's 100% that's our exponential so you can change that as well as if, if you like but we want to go to dual rate, so we'll select INH and scroll it to plus 1%. Or sorry, this is Expo, I believe. And then that will set your, or no, yeah, this is dual rate. So that will set your dual rate here. So if we want 50% travel for when the switch is flicked for the ailerons, We'll get 50 there, and that will limit our travel. 
to whatever percentage we've selected. So that's basically how you do the basic programming um, for setting up a new model. If you have any questions, uh, please comment below or just send me an inbox message on YouTube. Thanks for watching and have a great day.